destiny future we all want a great wonderful beautiful destiny but how do we make a create this beautiful destiny the formula is it starts with our thoughts thoughts action habits character destiny that's the journey from thought to destiny good thoughts right thoughts lead to right acts when we do the same act again and again that becomes our habit sum total of our habits is our character a great character builds great destiny so if we want a great destiny wonderful destiny we have to have right habits it is very important that we quit all our wrong habits and develop right habits that will create a great character and that will lead us to create a great destiny so today's video is focused on habits wrong habits how to quit and how easy it is to quit and what are the wrong habits all that we will discuss in this video my name is pradeep muzundar welcome to satvik my youtube channel and satvik.com my website where i share the secrets of living healthy wealthy and happy life how good health you want how much of wealth do you want and how much of happiness do you want you can get all that without much effort without much effort you can get all those the only reason people do not are not as healthy wealthy and happy as they wish to be because they just don't know those secret formula the formulas how to become healthy wealthy and happy and that is what i share in my youtube channel satvik and my website you can also go to my website and look at all the uh, videos that i have earlier put on youtube so before we start on Uh, habits how to quit habits let me tell you some people think or maybe many 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 people think habits means some vices like smoking drinking doing drugs but that's not all just if you do not have these wrong habit that doesn't mean that you don't have wrong habits believe me and i'm sure by the end of this video you will believe that almost everybody has got wrong habits which they have to work on they have to quit wrong habits could be spending lot of time on phone or video games or watching television there can be so many types of wrong habits gambling spending uh, in casino uh, i'm purchasing lot of purchasing may be a wrong habit some people are into so much of purchasing that they are almost always broke there are many many wrong habits and these we today's video will help you in getting rid of quitting all the wrong habits that you have if you wish one wrong habit which almost everyone has got and everyone should work on it and quit is staying angry getting angry is nat- natural we are human beings not machines we will get angry on small things but how quickly can you drop the anger how much do you hold on to that anger that's a wrong habit and if you are one who keeps who holds anger for long long time then definitely you have to work on it quit that wrong habit so let's start let's begin with the first one so i'm going to talk of 10 inspirations call them 10 secrets call them 10 inspiration call them 10 wisdom whatever i would like to call them inspiration and i wish and i hope and i pray that at least one inspiration out of this 10 works on you and you realize how important it is to quit wrong habits how important it is to develop 
right habit so that you form a very great character and let that character you know create a great destiny for you so let's begin very first inspiration for quitting wrong habits and addictions is will power a myth ever since i was little and ever since i was little and heard of only wrong habits are as i told you like smoking drinking doing drugs something similar but whatever it is i just heard from many many people that quitting wrong habits need will power today i am sharing this secret with you quitting wrong habits or addictions they do not need quitting wrong habit doesn't need any will power or any power at all it's very simple it's very simple let me ask you a very simple question and try to answer without thinking much because there is no strings attached and it's not a sarcastic question the question is is it difficult to do something or is it difficult to not to do something is it difficult to climb mount everest or is it difficult not to climb mount everest is it difficult to raise a child or is it difficult not to raise a child one more is it difficult to find a job keep a job or is it difficult to quit a job answer is very simple no brainer it is always more difficult in doing something it is not at all difficult it is definitely less difficult or not at all difficult to not to do something so quitting any wrong habit is what is it doing something or is it not doing something the answer is it is not doing something that you have been doing all this time let's take example of smoking if you have been smoking and if you want to quit smoking what do you have to do you don't have to do anything you have to stop doing something you are already doing many people ask this question oh i want to quit this habit quit that habit what do i do what should i do for that the answer is please don't do anything you have already been doing a lot which has you know ended up in developing this wrong habit now the time has come not to do it so to quit anything you don't have to do anything you have to not to do anything that's it and if you also have been brainwashed since you are little that quitting something needs will power come out of that that's wrong that's myth it's only tricking you telling you oh you have to do so much and you say oh no no i cannot do so much you don't have to do anything whatever i say in this video whatever i am going to share they are not theoretical they are all practical i had many many wrong habits one by one by one i quit those and it was not difficult for me to quit any of those now that we are talking so much of smoking let me share with you i was a smoker i started smoking when i was 21 and i quit when i was 34 13 years non stop every day every single day i was smoking i was a smoker i can even tell you the date when i quit 11th august 2001 was the last time i smoked and after that i did not did i have to go to any for any therapy did i have to take any course nothing because quitting is just like that you just decide i don't want to that's it if you have to smoke you have to arrange for the cigarettes you have to maybe go purchase No, what not nowadays smoking is not allowed in any public place so you have to even find a place to smoke. you have to do so much to smoke 
And if you don't want to smoke, you have to do nothing. So it was absolutely easy after 13 years of continuous smoking, quitting was not a big deal at all. And, and one more thing I'll tell you, when you quit any habit, at least if not immediately, soon, someday, you'll feel very good about it. And only one question you'll keep on asking throughout your life that why the hell did I have that habit in the first place? That's of no use. After quitting, you realize that that was waste. Anyway, so remember one thing. Whatever is your wrong habit, you want to quit, quit. It will need nothing. You have to go nowhere. You have to learn no, no, nothing from anybody. You don't have to go to any rehab or anything. They are all not required. It is you, only you. Even God cannot do it for you. You have to do it. And what you have to do? Nothing. Always remember, you don't need any willpower. You don't need any power. You have to do nothing. That is quitting. Inspiration number two for quitting wrong habits. And the inspiration is find comfort in discomfort. Many people try to quit their wrong habits. In few days, they start feeling uncomfortable. I mean, they start feeling uncomfortable immediately and it goes on for few days and then they again start get into, get back to their wrong habits. Why? As I told you, they find it uncomfortable. People say, oh, I had quit smoking, I had quit drinking, but it was so difficult after that. I was feeling so uncomfortable. I was feeling something is missing. I was not feeling like this and that. And in short, they talk about how uncomfortable they felt. And that's why they again went back to their wrong habits. Learn to find comfort in discomfort. One of my professions is teaching yoga. If you take yoga sun classes, if you take yoga classes, you'll come, you'll hear instructor saying, find comfort in discomfort. Some of the yoga postures are very uncomfortable. Does that mean that you should not do them? You should not do those or you should not try those? No, of course you should. You'll find it uncomfortable. Once you are into that posture, will find it uncomfortable to be in the posture for a few seconds, a minute or something like that. But you have to. Why? You have to learn to find comfort in discomfort. See, life cannot be comfortable all the time. Everything that you do and every circumstance that you have in your life, they will not always be comfortable. You have to learn to find comfort in discomfort. So even with quitting wrong habits, you quit wrong habit, chances are very high, your life will become uncomfortable. You had become so comfortable. That's called comfort comfort zone, right? You have you are in your comfort zone. You are finding your life very comfortable with that wrong habit. So obviously, chances are very high after quitting your wrong habit, you will find uncomfortable. But so what? Is that end of the world? No, just learn to find comfort because of course you will agree with me that when you quit wrong habits, you are definitely getting a lot of advantages too. So if you have, if the price you have to pay for those benefits that at those advantages is some discomfort in life, so what? Let it be. There are so many things I can tell you where we learn to live with discomfort. Job, for example. I, would, I can tell you half the working class, half the population of working class are not comfortable with their job. Does that mean they just quit and sit at home? No, they still continue. Even in relationship, there are the percentages lot more than half. Many, many people are not comfortable with the relationship they are into. So what? Does that mean? 90%, 99% people should just break up? No. Find comfort in discomfort. As a yoga instructor, 
आई हैव लर्न टू फाइंड कम्फर्ट इन डिसकम्फर्ट एंड आई अप्लाई दैट एवरीवेयर whether it is job whether it is relationship i will survive i will live with uncomfort discomfort and i'm fine with that so quit go ahead and quit whatever your poison is whatever is your wrong habits are you will find it uncomfortable learn to live with that that's secret number 2 or inspiration number 2 and i really hope this inspiration works on you quit inspiration number 3 get used to i love this phrase get used to getting used to i have gotten used to it it's very beautiful we human beings somehow have this great advantage and benefit of learning to get used to things used to circumstances so if you have any wrong habits quit what will happen as in the second inspiration i said you will find it uncomfortable but here comes inspiration number 3 you'll get used to it that's the beauty problem either you can solve it or you can get used to it most of the problems are solved but those problems which you cannot solve you get used to it so that way your life can be without any problem life without any problem means what the problems will not come the yeah, problems will keep coming but the beauty is that you have something called getting used to it let me tell you a joke maybe you have already heard this very nice i like it one man gets married and then goes to a palmist shows his hand and tells tells that you know i got married and i would like to know how my future is what do you say so the palmist looks at the hand and he Uh, doesn't have a good expression on his face he tells this man oh i'm sorry to say but your life is very difficult at least the next 3 years are very bad so this man asks can we do anything to change that the palmist says no you cannot do anything whatever you try it will fail you cannot change your next 3 years are very bad then the man tells okay accept it but hope after 3 years everything will be good life will be good the palmist tells actually not even after 3 years everything will be just the same but don't worry you will get used to it so we get used to things so if you quit something you quit wrong habits yes chances are very high that you will very will become uncomfortable you will not enjoy but then what you will get used to it pleasure and pain they are opposite pain is opposite of pleasure but when you get used to pain it becomes equal to pleasure bad wrong habits i don't know whether you think that's pleasure or pain actually wrong habits are pain it's a misunderstanding of people that wrong habits actually give pleasure and that's why they don't want to quit but it's also pain but let's go with pleasure let's think that wrong habits are pleasure but when you quit and when you get used to that life it will be equal to pleasure as i told you getting used to pain is equal to pleasure so if you think for whatever reason that your wrong habits giving you pleasure you have pleasure in that then quit get used to that other life without those habit your painful life will become pleasure when you get used to it you will be back to the same situation as you were when you had those wrong habit but the difference is now there is nothing left to harm you anymore 
your life will be same but you are now gotten rid of your wrong habits and and you will still enjoy the life as you were with the difference as i told you now you don't have those wrong habits it's not harming you anymore which it used to so get used to it i came to this country in the millennium year 2000 i first landed in oregon then i lived in texas which is central of us then i moved to the east coast spent couple of years in massachusetts so and then again i moved and again i moved i moved many times i i lived in warm place cold place very cold place and i always thought if, if ever i settle down in this country it will be a warm it it has to be a warm state like california texas florida georgia something like that i will definitely not settle down in a cold place because i hate snow but guess what in 2005 which is now 17 years i am now settled in chicago illinois cold windy snow and i can move out from here and go to any warm state any time i want nothing is holding me back over here i don't have my parents or siblings settled in chicago i don't have i did not do my schooling or college here i don't have my childhood friends over here nothing is stopping me nothing is binding me i can any time and moving from one place to another one city to another one state to another in the us is absolutely easy absolutely easy and i have moved several times in this last more than two decades but still why i am not moving out of this place though i don't like the snow here don't like the weather here because i told you i got used to it when you get used to it it doesn't make any difference so quit your wrong habit get used to the life after quitting that's it when we talk of relationship there is a beautiful saying those who love you will not leave you even if they have 100 reasons of giving up on you they will not leave you they will find one reason of holding on to the relationship continuing with the relationship exactly opposite of that is when it comes to quitting habits wrong habits you will not quit your wrong habits even if you have 100 reasons of continuing with your wrong habit you will still give up quit your wrong habit if you have one reason of quitting so in relationship you will not quit on somebody even if you have one reason of not quitting when it comes to wrong habit you will quit the wrong habit you just need one reason of quitting just one reason of quitting so find that one reason that would inspire you to quit i'm sure whatever wrong habits you have sometimes you think when this wrong habit is gone this will be at least something i will be comfortable with one thing some people for some people it is money maybe they are spending too much money on a wrong habit so they sometimes think that you know when the wrong habit is gone at least i will be saving so much for some people it is time for some people it is relationship maybe some people are into some wrong habit and that is messing up with their relationship so the thought comes in their mind that when this wrong habit is gone at least my relationship will be good you have to have one solid reason for quitting and then quitting is very simple so what you need to do is just find that one reason that's already there not that you have to create just find that one reason and then quitting will be so easy 
So here I'll give you the example of my drinking habit. I used to drink and not occasionally. Every single day I was drinking. But I always wanted to quit. I was just looking for that one reason that would help me in quitting. Because no other reason was powerful reason. Neither money nor that somebody really wanted me to quit drinking or something like that. So I had to find one reason and there was one reason. You'll always find one reason if you want. And my one reason was I always had this thought when I am drunk I will not be able to help somebody in emergency. If I am in a drunk state and somebody needs my help like an emergency I cannot because a drunk person himself or herself need help from others what he or she will help others in this country particularly dui driving under influence is very very strict law and it can mess up with you like anything if you don't observe that if i have to rush anybody to emergency i cannot drive if i have to get medicine for somebody in emergency in the dead of the night i cannot drive i might lose my license for 3 years so that one reason was so strong that if i am ever into a situation like that and i will not be able to help somebody then i will have to live with that guilt for the rest of my life and that one reason was good enough for me to quit drinking so find that one reason that is so strong that you can quit your wrong habit inspiration number 5 only you can do see there are some things where we are so much dependent on somebody there are people who are definitely dependent on others even for their basic necessities like food clothing shelter medicines etc even at work some tasks we have to do but we have dependent tasks somebody has to do first then only we can do so there are so many cir- circumstances and situations in our day to day life at work at professional uh, at personal or professional level everywhere where many a time we are so dependent on others but when it comes to quitting your wrong habits you are not dependent on anybody in fact nobody can do it for you not even god nobody can quit your wrong habit you have to quit there is no brainer so it's a no brainer can anybody quit your wrong habits no it's only you can god do that can god quit your wrong habit no it is something you have to do so you should be happy that you have a problem which only you can solve nobody can solve it for you so this should be taken as a blessing at least one thing one good thing about wrong habits just to one good thing if you can think of is that you can you can quit and only you can quit so take the advantage of this that unlike many things in life where we are so much dependent on others this is one thing which is completely in your hand as opposite to quitting wrong habit is relationship however much you try to maintain a good relationship with that other person you can only do as much because the because relationship maintaining relationship is so much dependent on two people and exactly opposite of that is wrong habits it is absolutely not dependent on any it is absolutely dependent on you and only you so take advantage of that quit your wrong habits because 
only you can do and you should do inspiration number 6 if you can do it once you can do it again wrong habits whatever is your wrong habit or whatever are your wrong habits trust me one day you did not have those when you are born think of any wrong habit or habits you have today when you were born the day you were born did you have that one year first one year of your life did you have that 10 years chances are very high that at least 10 years you were good without those wrong habits so you know you can live with that without that so why not now if you lived well without your wrong habits then why not again and here at this point i would like to talk of few of the wrong habits because i don't want people to think that we are talking only of few wrong habits like smoking drinking any wrong habit gambling spending in casino or lotteries some people have this habit of spending so much of on lotteries bumper lotteries and all spending too much spending too much is also a wrong habit there are some people who earn so much but spend so much always broke these are all wrong habits and as i told you at the top of my list at least i mean my list means the list if i make for everybody's wrong habit i'll definitely always put at the top is holding on to anger i hate that when people do not understand that when you hold on to your anger the the i mean you are the one who's suffering the most not anybody else not the person on who you are angry you are spoiling your own karma and you have to pay for that so all these wrong habits think did you have these wrong habits when you were born the day you were born first 5 years 10 years of your life were you like this spending so much time on phone you should not spend more than 1 hour 1 hour is too much on personal calls in a day there are people who spend hours talking on phone life is short and there is lot to do definitely there is no room for keeping on talking on phone or or watching television that number of hours or playing video games on cell phone playing games and all there is a lot of things that i'm sure you have to work on think did you have these problems in the first 10 year of your life in the first 10 year of your life were you spending 4 hours 3 hours 2 and a half hours on phone every day no so you can live a life like that then why to do any wrong habit that you have when you did not have you lived a good life did you not so why not again to do so always keep that in mind that one day you could live happily also i can tell you without that or at least live at least survive then why not today and why we are trying to do this as i told you in the very beginning sum total you are nothing but the sum total of your habits if you have lot of wrong habits that's your character people will know you by that so you are the sum total of your habits so what habits do you want good the right habits or the wrong habits so remember one thing if you could do it once you can do it again so if one day you did not have this wrong habits today also you can live without this so use that as an inspiration and just say no to your wrong habits next inspiration role model do you ever think of becoming people's role model do you have role model do you ever think that like i follow the path shown by so and so 
person this person is my role model one day i have to do something i have to become somebody's role model maybe even not some body one person or something maybe you would like to become role model of thousands millions just imagine will anybody accept you as his or her role model if you have wrong habits i have many role models just to name a couple like mother teresa or saintly people like swami vivekananda there are so many celebrities there are people in the sports world film industry who are role models for millions but just imagine if they have wrong habits i mean who would like to become like that so a role model cannot afford to have wrong habits so this is one thing as you are trying hard to become something maybe rich famous celebrity or whatever or if nothing then at least a great person a nice person a lovable person so you have to be free of all the wrong habits so always always think big know that one day you'll become something and and people will accept you as their role models so from now onwards you have to work on your habits because you don't want to be a person who people would not like or keep pointing that ha huh, but this person has got this limitation and that limitation so you have to work on that remember one thing people with wrong habits are not acceptable much by others they are rejected because of their wrong habit you must come you, you must have come across if you ever tried to find a roommate or you'll see you know pe- people reject you oh you smoke uh, i don't like that i don't want a smoker here people who drink people who smoke people having various even even if you are on phone for long time people take you know you are very disturbing you are on phone people when people don't accept you do you feel good mother teresa said once feeling unwanted is the worst disease mankind has ever suffered it's okay if you and compared to other diseases like you know <clears throat> any disease i don't want to make a list of those big diseases but it is better to have those diseases than being unwanted by the society will live so just get rid of your wrong habit let nobody get this you know chance of saying oh you know what you're fine but you know you're this wrong habit i i don't like so i reject you so this is another inspiration remember that you know always think that you know you will become something big one day and people will you know look up to you as their role model and and you sh- cannot afford to have this wrong habit so why not get rid of those right away inspiration number 8 there are substitutes for your poison whatever your wrong habit is there is at least one substitute which is which is not harmful like the poison of your wrong habit let's start like this there are many many smokers who take smoke break every hour or even more now a question is do they take so many breaks because they need a smoke or do they smoke because they take so many breaks we call it smoke break but is it not possible it's not 
the smoke that they want that's why they take break it's the break that they want and why on break the smoke many many smokers have gotten into this smoking habit because of the breaks they were taking in the break somebody must have offered a smoke and then slowly slowly it has become like that that every time i'm taking a break i need a smoke there are so many people they don't want to drink actually they are not so interested at least in the beginning they were not but the company they keep they like that company and being in the company they started drinking and now they have become addict to that there are so many examples i can tell you where actually unnecessarily people have developed and gotten into these kinds of habits really they never wanted those but now they have gotten into it but they can come out of it only thing they have to understand that they can still it's never too late they can still use substitute now that you have gotten into this habit of smoke break i am telling you you can get rid of smoke easily not break easily and you don't even have to what keep taking those break but instead of smoking use some substitute it's okay to even you know substitute your smoke with herbal tea or anything non caffeinated of course otherwise that will become another addiction it's okay anything you choose there are so many kind of simple drinks which is not definitely i am not advising particular sodas but simple drinks or herbal tea as i told your green tea if you are taking break and you want something substitute your so called smoke or any poison that is you know your uh, weakness with a better substitute now i'm going to talk about little bit about my experience with quitting meat seafood in short becoming a vegetarian here i'm not going to definitely tell it's a wrong habit because that's not the uh, point uh, at least for this video but at least when it comes to quitting something that you always wanted to it was very not so easy for me to quit uh, non veg that is meat seafood all this because obviously since birth since childhood i was eating all those but i always wanted to for a long time i was thinking of becoming vegetarian and then one day which is of course almost two decades back story i am telling you one day i really quit i i told come what may i have to quit i want to become a vegetarian but something was definitely missing in my diet i, I could uh, see that but i have found a substitute for that very very close substitute i don't know if you are aware of but in asian markets you can find vegetarian turkey now that thanksgiving is around the corner it reminds me vegetarian turkey you get vegetarian salmon you get vegetarian almost every vegetarian hot dog sausages these are made of soya soya products they look so much like non veg but that is not important how it looks like and feels like most people who know about cooking knows one thing the taste is not in those particular ingredients or whatever food item we are talking of the taste is in the spices the masala so as long as you are preparing the same spices masala doesn't matter whether you are putting vegetarian item in that or non vegetarian item so for example i am telling you you can look at this picture <coughs> it shows this peas which are cooked with soya and the same masala as i am telling you it tastes as what i used to have when i used to eat meat goat meat goat meat with this peas so it tastes almost similar some people will not even 
understand it chances are very high if you are telling that this is still this peas and goat meat and they will accept it so i'm just giving you some example you can always substitute you can always find substitute even in my case you know i have coolly substituted alcohol with simple club soda so you can always find substitute over a period of time remember one of the inspiration i told you you get used to it so you substitute and get rid of any habit that you that is harming you or that is not helping you inspiration number 9 replace your wrong habit with right habit a wrong habits with right habits see as i told you about the smoke break is it that you want smoke that's why you take a break or is it that you want break that's why you smoke similarly similarly about habits you want habits right will it be too much for you to replace wrong habits with right habit you still have that those you still have habits only thing different habits see right habits some of the right habits reading is a habit too much of reading that's also habit too much when you do that becomes your habit right and too much too much becomes addiction so what's the difference between habit and addiction habits are habits or actions or acts are habits as long as they are your wants but when your wants become your need that is where habits become your addiction so as long, supposing anything any wrong habit you take as long as they are still your want that's why you are into it that's your habit but when it becomes need without that you go crazy you fall sick and you also become suicidal if you don't get it that means it has become your need that becomes that is your addiction so of course stop your habit before it becomes addiction and stop habit itself so so that you live a better life so talking of why don't you replace your wrong habit with right habit reading writing uh, even meditation learning new languages i mean the list can go on and on you can find your own i mean anything that actually doesn't harm you but doing too much of that is still habit so replace your wrong habits with right habit talking on phone you know instead of talking on phone so much spending so much time on phone why don't you sit and write writing is a great it's develop skill you can you develop the skill of writing you can become a writer even if you are talking on phone a lot to somebody why don't you start writing to that person write and improve your writing one day you will become a big writer great writer spending people spend there are people who are so much into spending they spend unnecessarily some people are so crazy about simple things like t-shirts or shirts keep on spending i mean how many you want anyways but no it has become their habit there are many many people who spend so much on things actually are waste instead of these kind of wrong habits you can develop right habit of doing charity this money which is you are wasting helps nobody you can utilize that for better things like charity it will help poor and needy you can sit down and write you know what wrong habits you have got and change those to right habits so wrong habits which was actually wasting your time money energy and building your negative character is now going to same time money effort you spend on right habit it is going to develop a right attitude right good character in you so replace use this as a motivation quit your wrong habit develop right habit instead coming to the last inspiration state of nature 
What is state of nature? Every being, living or non-living, has a particular, a true state of nature. What is the nature of that being and in what state if that being be will be at its best? Before coming to human being and how it is related to wrong habits, right habit, let's take an example of ice cream. What is the nature of ice cream? What comes to your mind when we talk of ice cream and nature? Cold, frozen, solid, right? So where it should be so that it is at its best? Refrigerated. In the refrigerator, when it is in the refrigerated state, frozen, negative, chill, temperature, that's the state in which it will be at its best. If you leave it outside, leave it on the kitchen table, will it be good? How long will it be good? It won't be. Because it is not in its proper state of nature. So now talking of human being, what is the true nature of human being. True nature of human being is divine, peaceful, loving, one in tranquility. Those are the characteristics of human being. When a human being is in such a state, it is at its best. So habits, wrong habits, when people have, when a person has wrong habits, those wrong habits what what happens uh, uh, to these people and when they are in their wrong habit? What is their state of nature? Is it peaceful, loving, wanted by others, loved by others? No, it is exactly opposite. Exactly opposite. It is unwanted. Person is not at peace. Anger, as I told you, the, the worst wrong habit human being suffer is anger being angry. So when you are angry, when you are enjoying the so-called your wrong habit called anger, holding on to anger, days and months, years on somebody you are angry, is that how you will find peace? No, absolutely not. You are not. By nature you are a peaceful being, but with this kind of habit or any wrong habit, you are not in the correct state of your nature. If you are not in the correct state of your nature, you will not enjoy life, you will suffer. So wrong habits don't let us be in the right state of nature because our nature is peaceful. By birth, by our existence, we all human beings are nothing but pure soul, pure mind. With the wrong habits, our wrong habits mess it up. Our mind which is supposed to be very, very peaceful, think positive, that starts doing exactly opposite under the influence of wrong habits. So it is very important that you get rid of all wrong habits and live your true self, your be in the correct state of your nature. So, that brings us to the end of 10 inspiration and I am sure if you work on this, it will be very easy for you to get rid of any wrong habit that you have and again I will remind, please consider anger and anything that I have mentioned as wrong habit and this is not an exhaustive list there can be so many more wrong habits anything that is not giving you peace anything that is not letting you to be in the true state of your nature is a wrong habit and you need to work on it get rid of that thank you for watching uh, I keep making these kinds of videos and as I'm telling you anything that I share at Satvik and Satvik.com you can go and find my old videos and there are lot more to come anything that I am doing is only to help all of you because they have helped me 
and these are all whatever i share is nothing theoretical only after practicing only after myself doing those things seeing the benefits seeing how easy it is i am sharing so that it helps you too thank you again for watching and if you are interested do subscribe to my channel just because if you subscribe and put and press that notification button you will get a pop up every time i release a new video and thank you again for watching see you again in the next video